In this video, I will talk about basic CCTV, power supply, what they are, how they work. So if you want to learn more, just keep watching. Hello, welcome to my channel, Claudemir here again with another video about power supply for cameras. It's very important, very basic, but also very important, okay? So before you continue, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and leave your comments if you like the video and leave also your question just right here, okay? So let's see what we have here. I have a dome camera, bullet camera, some adapters, the power supply, a single power supply, some cables, box camera, and here a centralized power supply. What I think is much, much better because with this one, you can send power to a bunch of camera at the same time, okay? You don't need to use uh, power supply camera by camera. You can send power, power to all the ca those cameras at the same time, okay? So let's talk about this camera first. It's a box camera, just right here. We can see that works with 24 volts or 12 volts, 24 D AC or 12 volts DC. So we just connect to the camera and the camera can adjust itself and use one of those. And it's connected using this cable. Okay, and this cable is coming here with the coaxial cable. So the camera has the coaxial cable and the power cable at the same time because I'm using here this type of cable. It's a Siamese cable, RG59. So it sends power to the camera and the camera can send videos to the DVR using this coaxial cable, okay? So it's pretty easy to use, pretty easy to work with something like this. Here, the power supply, it's a centralized power supply. The camera is already connected here and I have space for more cameras here. I can connect nine cameras at the same time here in the power supply. Here's some LEDs so I can see that it's working or not. And some fuses those are ptc fuses meaning if there's a high current they open up if the current is okay again they just close you don't need to replace them okay and just right here you can adjust to send more voltage to the camera if you have some uh, voltage drop during uh, through the cable you can adjust just right here okay and just right here you have a button to turn it on or turn it off the power supply, okay? So pretty basic. Just remember something. Sometimes you have the camera uh, installed at long distance and then you get video from the camera, but you don't have power enough to the camera because the camera is too far. And then in that case, sometimes you need to use another type of cable instead of Siamese cable, use another cable separated from the video to send power to the camera, okay? You just need to calculate that. You just, if you wanna cal calculate that, you just can go to my blog. I have some information there, how to calculate that, okay? Uh, I'll have the link here in the description. And sometimes you can use power supply just like this one. It's a single power supply. You can connect to a single camera just like this one, okay? So let me just show you guys this. Here we go. This side's better, okay? So here's an AC adapter. This one is working with 24 volts. We can see the information here. It's 24 volts, 1.5 ampere, okay? But, and sometimes you also can use power supply that works with DC. This one works with AC, but sometimes you can also use one that works with DC, okay? 12 volts DC. When you have a camera like this, we have uh, here the cable for the BNC to connect with the, the coaxial cable and here connection with power. Then you need to use an adapter just like this one, okay? So you just connect it here and you can connect your cables here from your power supply, okay? It's the same with this dome camera, works the same way, okay? So guys, this is pretty simple, pretty basic, but it's important. Important to know that you can use centralized power supply, just like this one. It's easier to work with that because it can send power to a lot of cameras at the same time. It's located in a central 
It, it's in a central location, so you can control better. You can use a UPS to keep it working. And also it's important to know that sometimes there is no power enough for the camera. So you got to work on the calculation, see what cable are you using, what distance are the camera located. So you need to do some calculation to send the correct power to the camera, okay? You can have more information at my blog. Just click the link here below in the description so you can see some information there, extra information there about power and everything else you need to know, okay? So guys, that's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments. So I see you in the next video.